Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, it's time for a lunchtime reading. It's your lunch break, kick your feet up, okay? Um, for those of you who are new here, the lunch break reading, I not only can call out your sign when I see them, but um, I can tell you maybe what you're having for lunch as well as an additional confirmation, right? And then at the end of the video, um, I'm going to crack open your fortune cookie and read your fortune, so stick with me, right? Anyway, this reading is for the collective. It may not be for all of you, and that's okay. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support and all the love you guys give me every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers. A big welcome to everybody new here. Okay, let's see what messages the divine wants you to know. All right, spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for my collective. Oh boy. Constant. Yeah, I, when this card came out, I heard a lot of fighting, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's, um, maybe a, it's a karmic couple behind the scenes. They're doing a lot of fighting, um, and it's constant, okay? But I feel like y it's over you. You're in this earth angel, light worker energy, okay? Attracting the attention of a lot of people. You could have a, a, your own platform, website. You could just be on social media, um, telling people about the spiritual messages that you're getting, something like that. Whatever you're doing, it's helping to raise vibrations of other people, okay? Um, it's it, it may feel like um, a passion, something that's fun for you, but you're actually, it serves such a huge purpose. You have no idea how much joy you bring to other people, okay? Um, and I feel like there's been no communication with this other person, so you're making a decision. Yeah, see, they're the fallen ones here. You're making a decision to cut this person out. This could have been a twin flame. Doesn't have to be, though. I feel like this person, like, um, they were tempted either by you or someone else. And I feel like there's a karmic storm coming for these people, for both of them. Okay, because I'm seeing your person just kind of sitting here, um, not doing anything. Okay, maybe they're thinking about you. Maybe they feel stuck. I'm kind of getting the sense that they got them. Yes, that's it. They got themselves stuck. Okay. There could have been somebody who um, just recently gotten pregnant. So they could have gotten somebody else pregnant. And you're like, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. They're still doing a lot of fighting over you. Okay. All of this is the truth. Um, you could be eating chips for lunch, bacon. <laughs> you guys aren't eating very good meals out here. What, what's up with that? Um, yeah, now, uh, anyway, um, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Aquarius, heavy on Gemini as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, your person is a hot mess now. They've got themselves stuck. They, they feel trapped. I feel like they got someone pregnant. They may feel like um, they're getting trapped into some kind of commitment as well. Okay. Yeah, they're doing a lot of drinking. This person wants to come forward and give you some kind of apology or something, but um, I feel like it's too late. They, they're finding out they, they got somebody pregnant. They're stuck in some kind of trap. They, they could be spending a lot of time in the bar. They could be drinking while I'm telling you this. Yeah. All right. What else can you show me? They're kind of uh, wanting to be in hermit energy as well. Okay. Yeah. All this person can really think about is making you this offer, but they... They dip their chicken strips, um, you know, in other options here. And you're like, no, thank you. Yeah, now this person, I feel like they want to come towards you. 
They want to come towards you and maybe even commit because you're out here in the star energy on a glow up. But they it's too late for this person. I'm telling you. I'm just feeling like with the and with the two of swords here and the ace of swords, I'm feeling like um, this person really has betrayed you and you've healed already from that. You're you're getting over it. OK, um, you're a healer, an empath. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that you're just done with this. It's done. You know, also, I'm, I'm picking up on, on a masculine energy out here that now that they're in this trap, that wand doesn't work now. Like, um, I don't know, whoever they're with, they're turned off by or something. You know, I feel like they only have passion for you now. But you're not giving them any information. You're not giving them any attention. You're not talking. There's no communication at all. You're, I feel like you're absolutely silent and they just know that they're being cut off. Okay. This, if this person could turn back the hands of time, man, and do it all over again, they would do everything differently. This is somebody who, um, they wish they could have chosen you. Okay. Yeah. But this is going to be a deal breaker because you are not going to be in a third party. Okay, I feel like, yeah, you're not dealing with this person. You're not going to be a, a part of any third party. And if they are in a, any kind of relationship with somebody else and they're, they got someone pregnant, that's going to be a no. Yeah, you're going to be done with that. You fold. Yeah, mm -mm. this is going to be over. This is like the death card, okay, in this deck. You could be eating tacos for lunch. You could be having a BLT, guacamole. You could be a Scorpio. You know, all of that food sounds really good. I'm really hungry. You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I feel like you're holding out for an emperor. Um... This could be a lot of other options going on around you as well, okay? So you could have a lot of op new options, new, um, new people that you're meeting, new opportunities, right? New, taking new adventures. You're inviting in the new, and I feel like you're cutting out anybody who lied to you or hid other people from you in the past. You know what I'm saying? If they put you in a third party and didn't tell you that they that they had someone on the side, any kind of lies, anybody who um, has betrayed you, you're done with them, okay? I feel like you would like to see your justice. You Maybe you want to know um, where is your justice, right? Because I feel like you're waiting to, to see something. But this person, um, whoever you're dealing with here, they're doing a whole lot of drinking, they want to apologize, okay? They want you back, and this is coming to an end. You know, yeah, you're already past that point. You're moving on to calmer waters, and they don't want you to go anywhere, you know? You could be having sushi for lunch. You know, honestly, be careful of the sushi today, you guys. There may not, there may be something iffy about it. Okay, I will tell you that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to have to tell you that, but with the sushi in reverse, there's something not right with it. Okay, just to let you know, I'm gonna stop you before you take that bite. Um, yeah, use your intuition on that. Um, and I feel like, look, I feel like, um, yeah, you're, you could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could be eating leftovers um, from Thanksgiving. Or I'm sorry, not Thanksgiving, Christmas. <laughs> Ooh, that would be bad. Definite warning on that one. Um, yeah, you could be having some, think, uh, some Christmas leftovers, something like that. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be a Pisces. 
but I feel like, um, or Taurus Aries, I feel like uh, you're about to be, your wifey energy, and you're about to be snatched up by someone new. Spirit has something better planned for you, okay? And I feel an emperor is coming in. This person from your past, see, now they see you as the one for them, the perfect match for them, but it's too late. They've got themselves trapped up because they stayed in a karmic situation for too long, okay? With a queen of wands, all right? Now they're stuck. They're stuck in the mud. The chariot in reverse, okay? This person also, I feel like this is kind of like determination in reverse. They don't know what to do. They, um, all they can do is sit and drink and feel sorry for themselves for the choices that they made. That's what they're doing. I, I don't think this person is coming in to communicate. I feel like um, I, they feel like they don't have a good enough apology, you know, and they're already stuck. How are they going to come in and tell you that there's a they have a baby on the way? So I, right now, this person is, um, they're also thinking it'll be too much time before they can break free out of the situation, okay? They're looking at the path that, that's before them and with like a feeling of dread. Like they're dreading their future now, okay? They really are because they, they know that you won't be in their future, you know, there's no possible way. And they see you as the one for them. Yeah, but you're having this new beginning. I'm also seeing this as a pregnancy. This is something that this person is dreading. They're dreading their future with this karmic or whoever this queen of wands is. They could have gotten with a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It was, a, it was supposed to be just a passionate relationship. Um, this person, you know, uh, they got a lot of action with this Queen of Wands, but that's what happens, you know, they, they, uh, they created a, a baby, okay, and this is where this splits. This is where you move on in a different direction, and um, they are stuck, I feel, in the mess that they made, and it's a mess. This person sees it as a mess. You could be eating ramen for lunch. Yeah. But that wheel is turning. That wheel's turning. The, um, the door to this opportunity with you is closed. The cycle has ended. And a new one is beginning for you. But this person remains stuck where they decided to play around in for however long, okay? They were, they were only interested in one thing, okay? That's really all they wanted was some passion. This person was kind of, I mean, it says the dog. They were acting like a dog, and this fire in the background, that's all about passion, shacking up maybe with somebody. But it went too far, and this person, they're stuck now. So, yeah, you're out here just focused on yourself, okay? Virgo energy. This is the Empress and the Minor Arcana right here. And I feel like you're focused on your finances. You're focused on building your future, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. You could be from the South. Shout out to the South. I used to live in Douglasville, Georgia. Woohoo! Anyway, um, you could be having cornbread and greens for lunch today. Okay. Woo. That sounds so good, man. Um, I keep forgetting the restaurant I used to go to to have that. It was like po Pofo. It was called something like Po Folks Restaurant or something. It was. It had a really cool name. Um, so maybe you're eating, you could be eating lunch there, okay? That's a definite confirmation for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like you, the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor. You're getting a lot of abundance, a lot of financial stability. If you have your own business, that's going to be growing. You're going to be reaping this harvest from that. 
um, nothing but good things look to me like it, nothing but good things are coming your way. Okay, this is blessings starting to roll in, open doors of opportunity. And right now you're out here single, right? Single with pretty much everything you need and then some. The only thing you don't have is a soulmate at your side that's going to help you build this nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, okay? And that emperor is coming in. You're, you're getting new options coming into your life right now. You may not even be aware of it, but it's happening, okay? Yeah, and you're definitely blocking out anyone from the past, um, especially this person. You are done. Okay, let's just get a couple more. Clarify the Dane. Delicate one. You may have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming towards you, or maybe a Leo Aries Sagittarius. I feel like there's a, you know, honestly, there's another person um, coming in but they may have other options already. So use your discernment with everybody who approaches you because not every option for you is viable. Not every person that wants to date you is actually going to be right for you. I feel like there's a new person coming into the picture who um, has other people on the side or they like younger people. Okay, so this new person coming in could be m m uh, quite a bit older than you for whoever this is for. That's somebody who's still out playing the field. Okay, they may even try to pressure you. All right. And that's a confirmation. Do not rush into any relationships with anybody right now. Get to know them. Take it slow. Because um, this one here... I feel like they're, um, yeah, they're laying it on thick and there's something not right about them. I kind of get the sense that this, there's somebody new about to approach you and it's a test. It's a test of your discernment, okay, of who's for you and who isn't, you know, so use your discernment because you've learned this lesson, okay. I feel like it's a test, yeah, I, I feel like the universe is telling you, you have the right person for you coming in, okay? And you could be having um, grilled cheese and tomato soup or fries for lunch. This sounds like a really awesome combination, I got to say. So, yeah, you could be a Gemini, totally. You could have a twin flame coming towards you, but it's I don't feel like it's this person here. This is a new person you're about to meet. Once they pressure you to move fast, you know what? You're going to know that's not the one for you. Okay, I'll make it really easy for you. <laughs> you're going to know if they pressure you or they make you feel pressured in a subtle way, that's not, that's not the one for you. It's not the one for you. So use your discernment because the one for you is being brought in by the universe. Okay. Yep. There's going to be plenty of other options. Okay. Plenty of other options. So make sure you um, choose wisely. Right. All right. So let's see what your fortune says today. What does your fortune cookie say? Let's crack her open. Okay. People are waiting for cues from you. Lead them well. Okay, well, that was a cue. If somebody is pressuring you to move quickly in a relationship or move quickly towards passion, right, that's not the right one. If you feel pressured in any way by anybody, that's not the right one. Okay, so that I can't I can't lead you any better than that, right? I mean, that pretty much tells you what to look for. But I feel like there's going to be people, multiple people that are going to be coming towards you, okay? And I feel like you need to stay alert and you need to listen to your intuition. 
right? Use your discernment with everyone who approaches you right now. They're not everyone is going to be for you. All right, so your lucky numbers are one, five, six, seven. Okay, so something's happening in like a maybe maybe one person comes in right after the next, right? And you ha you may have to say no to to a lot of people to you know you may have to um, you know reject people to get to your prince to get to your prince charming this emperor right uh anyway one five six seven twenty and thirty seven you guys said this is an this is an end to a cycle and an, and new connections coming in but if you add these numbers together and you break them down numerology style and look them up look up that meaning right on google google it um, it will um, maybe give you some insight or um, information as to what to do next or what you need to know, okay? Anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.